So after dating for some time, we eventually got married. And I was pretty excited about being married and experienced the whole married thing. Um, I actually thought that getting married and all that will cure me. I unfortunately it didn't happen. Um, I felt many times that covering up or hiding or not acknowledging my attractions made me feel that I was living in denial. Um, but I always felt really uh, conflicted inside. It didn't affect my love for my wife or my attraction towards her. It was just more about coping with these attractions towards men and hoping that getting married will change it. I don't really think about it in those terms that, oh, I'm LDS and my husband's SSA. Um, he's still my husband. I don't really talk about it. Well, actually, I don't talk about it with anyone at church. But when discussions arise, when they talk about um, gay people or things that have happened this year, I think I feel I have more tender feelings that maybe I wouldn't have had otherwise. <laughs> so I feel like I could sympathize a little bit more knowing my husband and what he goes through and how how things affect him and his feelings. The members that are understanding and non-judgmental, um, that show love and support for people who are gay or experience same-sex attraction, that's the best thing they can do is just not to judge. Because I think um, a lot of members that experience SSA already feel bad about those feelings. And Making them feel worse isn't going to help them in any way. And, um, you know, we all go to church, and we all want to show love and charity. And anybody who goes to church usually wants to be there. They want to be uplifted. They want to be inspired to do something better with their lives. And so when there are hurtful comments, um, it's really hard for those members that experience SSA or that are gay. It's really hard for them to feel welcome at church, and we want them to feel welcome. We want them to feel love. And that we can all make it back to Heavenly Father someday.